What's up guys? I'm John with Rails, Tales, and Trails and Happy New Year. 2024 is here. With 2024 being here, my last video that I did, I talked about my furlough predictions and I got a lot of great feedback from you guys. You know, a lot of people are saying, hey, we're not going to see furloughs. A lot of people thinking we are going to see furloughs. Well, this is typically the standard furlough season right after Christmas and then into the first of January. So peak season traffic drops off and there's more employees than there there is available work. And so I wanted to explain because it seems like there's some confusion between a furlough and a layoff. Now a furlough by definition is a mandatory leave of absence from which you, the employee is expected to return to work when called when traffic or work becomes available uh, for the long term. This is typically during normal economic times, things like that. You can expect in your first five years to be furloughed between right after Christmas to maybe two to three months, depending on traffic. Now, this is, I call it a rite of passage because honestly, there's more employees by a large amount that have been furloughed working for the railroad than those that have not. The guys and gals that have never caught a furlough really just hired out at the right time, got the right amount of seniority, and then they just never caught a furlough. Uh, they're kind of the unicorns in this regard. And, you know, it's just kind of something you have to expect and just accept as a new hire in your first five or so years of being employed. Now, the last couple of years have been different. And this year, the carriers are saying they're not going to furlough anyone. But, you know, I, I don't totally believe that yet. Because, like I said in the previous video, not seeing any signs or moves showing that, you know, they're going to put a retention board in place, which is a reduced rate of pay board in which you may or may not get called um, occasionally just to keep your benefits going. But with being furloughed, there is a difference between being laid off. Again, you know, I'm going to throw the definition out here at you, and that is that a layoff is generally considered separation from employment, not temporary due to lack of available work. And when you're laid off, you're terminated from the company, you will have to rehire all over again, but you're terminated and they're saying, look, we just don't have the work, but it's no fault of your own. And this is why furloughs have been used in the railroading industry because they typically in the past would try to retain people through this slow season to be able to recall them back at a later time. However, the retention boards where employees can be put on and work very rarely, but still generate some sort of income and be able to keep their benefits going. I haven't seen one since I've hired out. I've seen them try to attempt to use the extra boards and that failed miserably. So I don't know what they're going to do. No one really does. We keep hearing things from the different carriers, but haven't actually seen anything yet. However, new C CEO over there at UP has wasted no time in shutting down and terminating jobs as a whole. He just skipped the entire furlough process. So that is the difference, and I hope that kind of clarifies some things up uh, for those of you that have wrote in and left comments, is that furloughs are not a termination from employment. You're just not on the schedule. You are literally moved from your working board or your job to a furlough board to where there's no guarantee money. Um, and it's basically a thanks for helping out this year. We'll call you when we need you versus the layoff, which is a termination holding no fault on the employee. I'll do another video next regarding chasing work how to handle the furloughs, different options, things that my wife and I have uh, learned through our own process to help us get through these slow seasons. And I'm going to share those with you next week. Hope you all have a fantastic new year. Thank you for all your support. 
You guys have been amazing. Keep sending in those comments and ideas. We'll see you on the next one. Here we go.